My fiancé left me at the altar. Yesterday was supposed to be one of the most happiest days of my life, and it turned out to be the worst. My fianc never showed up to the ceremony leaving me at the altar. His friends and family tried to get a hold of him but all calls went straight to voicemail. After waiting an hour for him, I told my guests that there wasn't going to be a wedding. I opened the reception hall and told them to enjoy the food and open bar, even if there was no ceremony. I still wanted them to have a good time and enjoy the food and drinks. I tried to call him a couple of times, but after three more failed calls I just stopped and told everyone else who were trying to get a hold of him to stop. He made it clear he didn't want anyone to get a hold of him and I wasn't going to have them waste their time. I didn't cry. I wasn't going to cry. At least not in front of everyone. His mother came to me and apologized through tears. She told me how disappointed she was in him and that she was so sorry. I just shook my head and stuck with her the entire time. I didn't want her to cry and feel bad for something that wasn't her fault. The real MVPs were all my friends. They did their absolute best to keep things from being awkward and entertained everyone. They played music, danced, and one of them went as far as going back home to bring a projector and a game system for all the kids and teens to play against each other with. I was glad that the day was somewhat safe but I still felt horrible. My would-be Bill, Ethan, kept me from getting shit-faced when I really wanted to, told me that it would be awkward if I did. So I did my best to keep everyone happy. After 11, I told everyone who bought gifts to take them back and get their money back. A few of them refused and had me keep the gifts they got. So now I'm back at the hotel we got, and I'm alone. This morning, I got a couple of missed calls from my fianc and several messages that I haven't opened yet. I'm so angry at him. He humiliated me yesterday by not showing up when he could have told me he was getting cold feet. I had my friend message him that I want to be left alone and that if he showed up to the hotel room, I was going to call my brothers to have him removed. So far he hasn't shown up, but I am getting phone calls from his friends, probably all wanting me to speak to him. I don't know if it's me being shallow or not, but now I'm rethinking our entire relationship and whether or not I see a future with him. So another issue is that I have an extra plane ticket. It was supposed to be for our honeymoon, but since the fianc isn't here I decided to enjoy my little getaway vacation for myself. A couple of friends are coming with me but not for another week since they gotta get childcare. Put vacation time etc. so they can't come since it lasts second. To be honest, I want to invite Ethan because I've never traveled anywhere in my life. I know he's been to where I'm going, and I want him to come so he can be there to show us the places to be at. Ethan told me he'd go for me, but should I invite him? I asked Ethan's mom and she was all for it, but I still don't know if it'll cause drama. Any advice? Update. Okay, so I feel like I should explain more about Ethan. First, I'm not going to take him. Second, I've known Ethan a little longer than my ex Fianc. Please believe me when I say he's a close friend of mine. Both of us bonded by teasing his brother, and with that we just kinda clicked and became fast friends. I wanted to take him because I didn't know how to use my ticket in the airport. I've never been traveling, and I didn't want to look dumb by trying to figure it out. Thankfully, someone said what to do, and I'm forever grateful. So now I feel much more confident. I know it sounded iffy trying to take Ethan. But honestly, it was for something innocent. I see him more of a brother than anything now that I look at all the comments you guys left. And finally, I read my ex-fiancé's messages. Yes, he's alive. He wasn't in any terrible accident. And the reason he never showed up was because he found out he has a kid. His childhood sweetheart came by with a kid maybe a couple of weeks ago. His best man knew and never told me because my ex didn't want him to tell me until he was 100% sure. And I guess he found out today. He apologized so many times for not showing up, but he couldn't because he felt so guilty. Of what? I don't know. He said a large part of him wants to make things right and take care of his son because he's always wanted a family. So screw the last three years, right? I don't know if that means he's going to go back to his ex because he wants to talk over the phone. Honestly, I'm done. I think it's an excuse to get back with his ex. I don't believe he's ever gotten over her and her over him. Which is why she chose now to show herself. He sent a picture of the kid to me, and I went over ex-fiancé's mom's F to see any pictures she posted of ex-fiancé when he was a kid. They're low quality, but there is definitely a resemblance. It feels so surreal to me, like this one big joke. I feel like I'm missing more info, like there's something else going on. But I'll find out later. I haven't responded, 
so instead I'm just going to open a bottle of wine and just get plastered. My best friend is currently on her way with takeout and ice cream, so I thought I'd share this.